So to begin, let's talk about some fundamental biochemistry, the process of turning DNA into functional proteins. Now, DNA is the genetic template of our body found in all the cells except red blood cells and needs to be turned into a more readable version called mRNA in a process of transcription. mRNA then needs to be translated into proteins and proteins play important structural and functional roles in our body. Now, interestingly, if we're invaded by pathogens like viruses or bacteria, they're gonna have proteins on their surface that our body recognizes not belonging to us, so it's not self. And so it elicits an immune response, antibodies and targets it for destruction. So what they're doing in the Moderna and Pfizer vaccine is they're taking just one protein on the surface called an S protein, and they move backwards in this process and find out the mRNA structure that makes it. They take this mRNA, they put it into a lipid bilayer, so basically fat, and the importance of this is our cells are surrounded by fat, so it means they can merge together nicely and release that mRNA into our cells. Now, this mRNA does not go to our DNA, does not go to our nucleus and intercalate with the DNA. It simply goes to ribosomes where it gets red, turns into a string of amino acids, and then folds into a protein. But the body recognizes that this protein does not belong to us. So it presents it on the surface of certain cells. These cells are phagocytic cells, so macrophages and dendritic cells. And with the protein on the surface, it calls in T helper cells with the CD4 complex together, T helper cells release cytokines. Now cytokines are messenger molecules and cytokines do some important stuff. Firstly, they call in B cells. B cells can then differentiate into plasma cells and plasma cells produce antibodies. And what antibodies can do is they have a memory. So if we ever get invaded by SARS-CoV-2, they recognize it straight away and surround it, agglutinate it, and stop it from doing any damage. The other thing is cytokines can elicit a fever and muscle soreness, for example. And this is one of the reasons why you can get a mild grade fever if you have this vaccine. It's just showing your immune system is working. So this is how the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines work.